guys, welcome back to my channel, Socially Fit. My name is Emma, so, so happy to have you tuning in today. I wanna to talk about how to stay on track with your goals. It's 2018, brand new year. Everyone wants to kick it into gear with trying to get fit and healthy and just feel better. So here are the tips that I do for myself that hopefully help you too. First off, you're gonna to wanna to set a plan. It's so easy to say, I'm gonna work out every day for the rest of the year. In reality, that's really, really hard. Some people do it. Congratulations, that's awesome. But for most of us, if we say that, sort of setting a super, super, super high expectation for yourself and honestly, maybe you, it's kind of stressful. Maybe you'll get a little anxious because you're like, oh my gosh, I have this huge goal. So instead, take it down a notch, like a lot of notches. Okay, start looking at, it, looking at your calendar over the month, then get even smaller with the week, then even smaller with the day. So you're looking at your calendar and you're like, okay, I can, here's my job schedule. Here's what's going on. I'm traveling this weekend, doing this weekend, blah, blah, blah. So then you take a week by week. First week, okay, what's my schedule looking like this? Oh, Tuesday I can, looks like I can go to the gym after work. Thursday morning, I have a really early morning, but I can do it during the night. I can, I can go after work, check, check, check. And after all of that, you have a whole week's worth. And you're actually writing it down. You're scheduling this stuff. You deserve it. You do so much for other people. You're always, trying to do your best and so now it's time for you to commit to yourself yeah it's time to commit to yourself and say i am going to do this because i want to feel better and i want to be happier so then you have the week and then you look at the day it's monday night you're like okay tomorrow night i'm going to the gym pack your bag do not go home because you're gonna go home and be like mmm Mm, those cookies look good. Mm, mm, that bed looks good. Mm, mm, that Netflix movie looks good. Or you say, I'll go later. I mean, maybe you will. Maybe some people do, and it works for you. But I know for myself, every time I'm in the car, I'm like, okay, I'm just going to run home really quick because I want to do this little thing. When I tell myself, I'm going to go later, I don't. So go as soon as possible. Just check it off. So another thing and how to help you stay on track with your goals is to focus on the process. 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 Not the end result. So there's actually studies on this, which is super cool. People who are put into two groups, one who are told to focus on the end goal and the other to focus on the process. So say the end goal is was losing weight. The process was running, warming up, doing crunches. And the study showed that the people who thought of the end goal found the workouts and just the whole entire overall commitment and all that stuff to be more of an effort than the people who were focusing on the process and the workouts themselves. They found it more enjoyable. So in other words, if you try to go working out your house or the gym, whatever, and try to just enjoy it, and focus on the little things that you're doing, that's gonna be better than just being like, oh my God, I have to lose weight. Oh my God, I wanna get fit. You have a, so much better time. Third thing, motivation is never there when you need it. You're driving in the car, I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm like feeling so good right now. I can't wait to go to the gym later or something. And then it's later and I'm like, no, I don't really wanna go anymore. It's interesting how that works, right? So how to combat this, I found, is just to make it a habit. Your bag is packed. I keep gym shoes in my car. You just gotta do it. Another great way is to start small. You don't have to go five days a week. You don't have to go to the gym, first of all. You can just go on the floor in, in your room. You could crunch it up on your bed, you know? <laughs> like, just get creative. Start two days a week. If that's even too much, one day. 
you're going to get better at something that you practice at. Like that just makes sense. So just because you're not really sure about your strength or, you know, what to even do, just do some research, get out there, try it and you're going to get you're going to get better. And then you'll want to maybe do more. You like doing things that you're good at. That's just us being human. So say you have two days scheduled in your calendar and your phone. Oh, I'm going to the gym tomorrow night. Perfect. And my bags are all packed. I'm ready to go. And then say you get sick. If you're sick, that's fine. Don't get so upset with yourself. Try, try to speak kindly to yourself and forgive yourself. And guess what? There are another 52 weeks that you can go. So just make it a point to go again. Just You gotta just jump right back into that goal like nothing happened and just keep on going. Make a plan, start small, you'll get better, and then you'll want to, want to do more, which is great. Motivation is never there when you need it, so you might have to just kind of knock your feelings out, say, I'm gonna do this, my bags are packed, I'm gone. Enjoy the process. The process, 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 process. And every single day counts, every single day. Day. Just start. That's the most important thing. Don't be so hard on yourself. All right, guys. That's it for me. Thanks so much for watching. I really, really, really hope that you got something out of this video. I also want to hear what your 2018 goals were and how you're doing with them. You got this. Peace. Bye.